Okay, you already know what it is. You read the title one year of podcast reflection. So pretty stoked on that. Pretty stoked on that. So basically what we're going to do here, we're just going to go through two songs I like from every playlist um, for the one year reflection. Uh, and I'll just go throughout through over. I'll, I'll go through all of the songs in case you don't want to listen to this podcast. So we got Hollywood. Um by Jay-Z and Beyonce, Red Beans and Rice by Ray Holman, Cocaine Jesus by Rainbow Kenton Surprise, uh, You Are Free by Lake Street, Dr- Lake Street Dive, um, Don't Drink the Water by Dave Matthews Band, uh, Schism by Tool, Sophia by Clario, Clar- Claro, um, uh, Flash Delirium by MGMT, uh, Look What They've Done to My Song, Ma, by Melanie, it's just me escape the fate, or by escape the fate, uh, where all the time go by Doctor Dog, um, Camels Blues by Mind Sign, Hometown Girl by Zoo, and Deer by Radnick Under and Block East. Yeah, pretty pretty good mix, right? Pretty pretty interesting mix. So uh, yeah, right now I'm just gonna go through. Um, if you don't want, if you don't want to listen anymore, that's cool. That's cool too. You listen to the mix. I'll put it in the in the show notes. But currently, I'm just gonna go through the wins, the areas, and improvements, and the future of what went well with this podcast. The reflection part right now. So we got seven interviews. Um, learned a lot and got exposed to a ton of new artists and bands I've never heard of, or that I've never listened to before. Now I'm like hooked on their songs. I'll touch on that um later um research project on podcast slash guest songs uh, in the spotify algorithm so grateful for that the application process is uh, automated i don't really have to check up on it too often but it works launched the jukebox recorded eight episodes um plus eight different mixes so just more exploration. We launched Instagram for this page or for this podcast. We have a Twitter now. Um, I kind of just use it to make memes. <laughs> so if you're on it, follow us on uh, on Twitter if you'd like. Uh, we have a link tree. Organization was kind of, uh, we're, we're working on it, you know, a, little, a lot better than the last podcast. So, but yeah, kind of organized and we had yeah I, I i had a lot of fun um so i mean I, I think the guests did have a lot of fun by listening to it so yeah that that's a win um and areas for improvement uh consistency of posting i'm kind of just all over the place and i'm like i'm going to post whenever i can so yeah kind of messy uh, I, I just gotta text and call people more often uh, and just see what they want. What do they want for this podcast? What, what do they expect? Am I doing too much posting? Or yeah, just gotta just gotta ask the people, you know. Um, getting more guests on the show, that's pretty hard. So that that goes again to the texting people, emailing people, uh, some procrastination for certain tasks. Sometimes I just did not want to do it. So yeah, I gotta. Sometimes you just got to power through and it'll be fine. Um, consistent branding. Yeah, just reach out to an artist maybe who wants to redo or uh, make the art consistent within this podcast. So, yeah, any artists out there, hit me up at info at wayltp.com. Send me an email. Uh, marketing. Uh, we're definitely not utilizing every channel. I mean, we have this Twitter and Instagram, but yeah, Mark- marketing is the barrier to entry has definitely lowered, but marketing is a lot of work. It's it's more than just like posting stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of KPIs and all that stuff that you want to track to make sure it's a good marketing, uh, marketing strategic marketing plan. You know. Um, advertising, do you guys actually like the memes that are kind of bad? I mean, those, those are, those are kind of fun to make, but is it worth it? 
Um, so yeah, just let me know. Send me a DM. It's always open. Uh, the future fermentation station beat making club. Email me at info at wayltp.com. Basically, we're just going to get pocket operators, make some beats, hang out, share some inspirations, some artists we're listening to, some bands, some stuff that we liked, some sounds we we liked. Um, I just bought my pocket operator today. Comes here pretty soon. Um, maybe talk to some DJs. Yeah. See how they do it. Talk to the pros. Um, yeah, this is just fun. Just a fun thing to do. Uh, maybe even do like a, um, like some Web3 NFT, audio NFT. I don't know. Maybe, maybe have a coin, a, a fermentation station coin. I don't know. That's, that's the future. We can, we can build what we want, you know? Um, hire or find a teammate who wants to build and, or that wants to help divide the work up and be a part of this. So yeah, it's, I'm kind of just doing it all by myself on the computer. Um, but if anybody wants to do any, if anybody wants to join and put their creative artistic touch on anything, super happy to have people on here. So yeah. Um, yeah, just reach out to them in the future. Definitely want to reach out to more artists, ask them some questions about their process, uh, why you, um, their creativity and all that good stuff and how they got started. So yeah, I love just talking to people and yeah, like autobiographies are, are really interesting. So, and just hearing the story of that's, that is the, the goal, right? Um, or the journey is the goal, which when you really think about it, because once you have it, you're kind of just like, okay, I got it. But when you, when you're like, um, in pursuit of whatever you want, that's when you like most, uh, like feel alive, you know? Um, so like people are chasing for that really cool Lamborghini or something or a Porsche and then they get it and they're kind of like depressed afterwards so yeah you just continue in that drive and uh just seeing how they deal with that fame so yeah yeah um so yeah i listed the songs earlier before but yeah i'm just gonna touch on two songs that i liked from every playlist from every interview that I did this year so yeah first up we have my mix um we have Hollywood by Jay-Z and Beyonce I mean like come on these are just two legends I don't really have to introduce this just good song check it out Red Beans and, and Rice by Ray Holman uh, some great island vibes here just a great memory from st uh, seeing the Steel Pan uh, band live during uni uh, yeah just good time cool sounds um next up we have uh, cocaine jesus and rainbow kitten surprise from libby's mix this is actually a band i've never heard of or listened to before this interview so uh, and now i'm just hooked on it it's, it's, it's really cool and distinct unique sound um and their audio tree performance was just amazing i love that uh, yeah, th this, this is probably one of those bands that sound really, really good live. It's probably a really good crowd, too. And the name is just awesome, Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Um, next up, we have You Are Free by Lake Street Dive. So the guitar is awesome in the intro. Super warm vocals, and yeah, it just sounds awesome. Uh, it just has like a cool retro sound to it. Um, again, not very aware of this band before, but very thankful to have learned about them. Uh, next on Alanis Mix, we have Don't Drink the Water by Dave Matthews Band. Very uh, relevant, very extremely relevant to when we were in Team War. Uh, yeah, don't drink the water out there. Just drink some bottled water, some clean water. Maybe even some beer is probably better than the water. 
Um, so yeah, be safe when you travel out there. Don't drink the water out there. And really great song, yeah. Next up, we have Schism by Tool. Yeah, we we were talking about this on the uh, on the episode. Just some really good album art uh, by Tool. Um, I forgot who the artist was, but maybe maybe you know. Uh, you can send me a message. Uh, but yeah, amazing instrumental guitar part is just amazing. I could listen to this t- for like ten hours on a loop of that instrumental. It's just really really good, and just every instrument is just really well done. And that's why it's a classic song that everybody likes, or most people like, who are associated, I don't, I don't know, people don't have to like whatever, what I like, so, but it's just a really popular song, that's all I'm trying to get out there. Uh, Danny's Mix, uh, Sophia by Clar- Claro, I think that's how you say it, but yeah, I watched the Nardwar interview, and just, she seems like a nice person, really great interview, really funny. Um, Nardwar doing his thing with his really great research. Um, just really great voice. Catchy song, super catchy. Instrumental was just, uh, just had, or I really liked the, the instrumental, um, but just a uh, more emphasis on the drums. I really, really like those drums. And then what it just comes after the guitar in the intro, it's just, it just really holds that song together. The drums are just really great on this. So go back and listen to it and pay attention to the drums. They're really good. Um, next up we have Flash Delirium by MGMT. So I actually have never heard this MGMT song. I've heard like they're super popular uh, uh, songs like... Uh, kids and electric feel but those are all the super mainstream ones you know we got we got the hipster songs here um so i'm really happy to see to hear this in their discography and it wasn't on their top five so that's another talking point or like the top fives on spotify like accurate or does it do a good job representing the band or artist to uh new to newer listeners so yeah just let me know let me know what you guys think about that if you want to talk about it on the show we can we can we can arrange that um next up we have simron's mix uh this is this is, these are some cool songs uh so look what they've done to my song ma by melanie this is another artist wow another artist wow um that I that I haven't heard of before this, so uh, glad to have this on my list. Super catchy. The bass line just goes super hard. Uh, maybe I want to learn it on the bass. Maybe I will. Um, as well as vocals, the vocals are really great. And then I think there's there's like a transition to French in here. So just like that dual language. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome. That was super baller. Um, it's just next song we have It's Just Me by uh, Escape the Fate. So, yeah, big fan of rock music, really cool guitar, and just like the little sound effects going on in the back. And I think they implemented a trumpet and some brass sounds, which was super unique. Um, you don't really hear that too often. Uh, well, the rock that I list, usually listen to, but yeah, just really great song. Um, Next up, next songs we have Raymond's mix. Uh, Where Where It All the Time Go by Dr. Dog. This is just a good song. This is a really, really good song. Um, so yeah, really love this song. It just really puts out everything into perspective, you know. Uh life moves really fast when you're not paying attention. So maybe a reference to this podcast, how we reach this one year mark. Uh yeah. Just again, just to reiterate, yeah, I had a really great time making this podcast, learned a lot, uh, explored so many new different bands that I haven't uh, it, before, a uh, bunch of new artists that I'm learning about, so yeah, very thankful for everything, and just a really great song, um, and meaning, obviously, but... <laughs> 